The CDC has announced it discovered traces of the coronavirus on the Diamond Princess cruise ship. It's been 17 days since the last passengers left that ship, and that leads us to tonight's good question. Here's KCTV5's Joe Chioto. Here's one that so many of you are asking right now. How long can the virus live on mail and packages? What about money or takeout food containers? Here's what we found out. Restaurants across Kansas City and the whole country hungry for business. So we're doing whatever it takes to survive. Their answer is takeout, but germs are top of mind. The FDA says the virus can live on to-go containers and carryout, but explains there's no evidence of food or food packaging associated with the transmission of COVID-19. That's because it typically is transmitted in a different way. It is typically spread by droplets, droplets that come from the coughs and the sneezes, bigger particles that then are either breathed in or they land somewhere. We touch, we touch our eyes, nose, or mouth. When it comes to money, your mail and packages, the same story applies. Very small traces have shown up on each, but nothing worrisome. UPS did send out a release to all of its customers. It said, according to the World Health Organization and the CDC, the likelihood of catching COVID-19 by touching cardboard or any other shipping container is low. An infectious disease expert we talked with says the virus can live on various surfaces anywhere from hours to days. But the virus is too new to know exactly how long. Your best line of defense, wash your hands after handling anything and everything. We all can personally take control and do our own um, good hand hygiene. This virus is not very difficult to kill with good soap and water or hand sanitizer or Lysol wipes and so on. The fear of transmission is having an impact on everyday life. In New York City, cash is no longer king. Some businesses have banned the use of dollar bills altogether. Joe Chiotto, KCTV5 News. Next week, Joe will answer more good questions. So if you have something to ask, email him at goodquestion at kctv5.com.